right, over in this drawer, we have our texture tools, cookie cutters, so texture kind of mats. These you can roll out like you laid on the clay and you roll um, it either through the slab roller or these rollers, all these All these things that you can use for shapes. This is really cool to push clay through. Um, there's letters in here that you can use. So fun drawer to play around with. Um, for using cookie cutters, you're gonna start here at the slab roller. Um, over here, you can change the thickness of your slab. Um, you have to change it on both sides. So make sure you change the thickness a little bit at a time on both sides. You're gonna lift up the fabric. You wanna make sure there's no wrinkles in the fabric, including the top and the bottom. And then you're gonna roll it out. As it comes through, you'll have a slab. If you want to get rid of the texture on your slab, you can take a metal rib and you smooth it out by using the side of it, not scraping it like this. So it's kind of like you're petting that. You don't have to do that, but if you want to get rid of that texture, you can. In the same drawer where the cookie cutters are, you can also find lots of texture tools, which if you want to have texture, on what you're cutting out, it's a good time to put it on while your slab is flat so you can play around with different textures. We also have shapes, uh, die cuts that you can use to cut out different shapes if you aren't finding what you want with the cutters, cookie cutters. So that's all in the same drawer. But here is the trick for using cookie cutters. It's plastic. You could use saran wrap. Um, you can also use the plastic we use to cover up our pots. And this is how you do it. You lay that plastic over it. Go ahead and push down. And what this does is it gives you a really nice edge on whatever you're cutting. So let me show you what that looks like. So you get this nice rounded edge here. Compared to, if you were just to do it normal, one, it's hard to get out, so it kind of messes your star up, but then you get a really sharp edge, and you know we don't want sharp edges in ceramics, so you would have to go around and smooth all that out compared to this one where it's all rounded out for you. Another thing that we have are these I don't know, I think they're tart pans or something like that. Um, but they work as gigantic cookie cutter type things. And you take your plastic, imagine you had a really big slab, uh, maybe to use over a slump mold or something. Put your plastic over that, push down. I'm only doing a portion because I don't have a very big slab. Push down there. And cute little scalloped edges. And you could do that you know, in a big circle. And don't forget you have, you should have a stamp for your mark that you can use. Um, and these are fun, especially to make a pattern of, and even cooler that you made it. So play around with your own marks.